Edinburgh day two. Today we're going to explore Victoria Street behind us just here which gave JK Rowling the inspiration for Diagon Alley in the Harry Potter books. Yeah. We're also going over to uh, visit the Dome and we're going to do afternoon tea there which we're really excited about and we're also going to Arthur's Seat. We're going to climb Arthur's Seat. If you saw our vlog yesterday you'll know that we tried that but we failed miserably so uh, not big not not the climbing <laughs> just couldn't find anywhere to park so should we go and explore yes just exploring yeah we've just been taking pictures of the street from down there and the the film in some kind of documentary or something i don't know there but we're, <laughs> we're definitely in a, a good 10 minutes of that so this is the first harry potter shop museum context it's not open yet so we can't go in a little Cornish pixie just hanging off the cauldron there. Jim's just trying to cross the road, but uh, what is it? Oh, a lorry's coming. A biffer. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> just when you're trying to get a shot for the ground, a biffer rolls up. Literally just got the smell of the van as it went past. <laughs> We've got about 15 minutes to wait before anything opens, so we're just hanging around. It's taking lots of pictures. It's very Instagrammable. Yeah, the colours are really nice. We'll just come up to the top. Just to have a bit of a nosy. <laughs> very nice, isn't it? Yeah, there's lots of like little restaurants and stuff down there. And also behind us as well. I bet it gets busy. Oh yeah, it will get busy. Just up there as well. You can see people people are waiting to get into the uh, to the Harry Potter shop. So the Harry Potter shops have just opened. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock. So we're racing over like a crazy tourist. <laughs> Even though there's like no one around. There's no one around. <laughs> but we're just like, oh, we need to get in. <laughs> oh, we need our masks. Yeah, I've got mine. I don't know why I, just, I tried to put a, my mask on with one hand, but never mind. What mask Star Wars mask today? Oh, we should have done Harry Potter masks. Oh, well, never mind. Ready to go in? Yeah, let's go. Ooh. Ah. Oh, yeah. I always think that I would want one of these, but then they just look so witchy. I know. What's your house, Anne? What's mine? <laughs> Hear how he says that? <laughs> Mocks me all the time. Oh. How cute is that? <laughs> it's it. Little cute versions. Guys, look, look what we've spotted. A lounge fly. <laughs> so it's a honey dukes one, yeah. Is that how much it is? Yeah, go on. What, what's your guess? Mm, 70 pound. 69.99. There you go, I'm an expert with lounge oh. flies, you see. <laughs> They've also got a purse to match as well. They have the official cardigans as well in the house colours. 69.99. We've just spotted another lounge fly. Now this generic like, Hogwarts one. It's nice, that it's isn't like it? Tartan, yeah. Yeah, the problem with these with things now that have names on is that people don't name their children like our names anymore. No. So you never find a Gemma or an Anthony anymore. You never, you could never find a Gemma. Could you not? No. I don't know what your guys' house is, but I always find that there's never as much Hufflepuff stuff. And Ravenclaw stuff actually is what there is Slytherin and Gryffindor, so I understand why obviously, but... Now we need to get some more merchandise for us Hufflepuffs, please. This is just the back end of the shop. I'm quite impressed, actually. I wasn't sure I was expecting, but I'm quite impressed, to be honest. Look what Anthony's found. Ooh. Uh, that's not bad. Yeah, I really like those. Are you going to get them? <laughs> Yay! Coming down the stairs now, but this is actually the front of the shop, so I just thought I'd just give you a bit of an indication of there's Anthony. <laughs> With our purchases, um, yeah, just to <laughs> give you a bit of an indication of what it's like on this level as well. We we're just saying how much we like. Oh, look at this little suitcase! How cute! Oh, it's $39.99. So cute. They've also got a nice little Hedwig section if you're into Hedwig. It's cute. <gasps> oh my goodness me, guys! Look at this. $63.99, so it's a little bit cheaper than a normal lounge fly, but how cute is that? I've never seen that before. Really cute, and they've also got the purse as well. Okay, so it's time for Harry Potter shop number two. Ooh. 
So it's like a combination of Harry Potter stuff and just like general witchcraft, yeah. isn't it? And astrology and stuff. Let me see the camera you go. Hey, what's your verdict on the shop? So, much prefer this one. The Great Wizard is better. I like than museum content. that one's got more of an atmosphere in it. Yeah, it's more it's like more the theme oldie, of it. Yeah. Oldie feel, witchcrafty feel. So if you if you want if you want that, that's probably the best one to go to. However, the red shop. Um, it's called the Great though. Wizard. Yeah. It just the layout's better, the merchandise, the options are better. Yeah. It's easier to see what there is. I felt like we were very claustrophobic in that other one, yeah. and particularly with COVID times. Yeah, because you have to go upstairs, and there's like little um, areas where you just you, you can't social distance. No. it's impossible to. So, I prefer it in the red shop. Just walking up to the castle now. We couldn't get um, tickets for the castle. Um, Very was... sad because it's literally the thing that was like on the top of my list of things to do. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but also they sell out really, really quickly because when we when we check today, it's all sold out for the next week. So we're just going to get as close as we possibly can to just it. Just want to take some pictures. Yes. Yeah. Finished our photo shoot. Sorry. We just had a little castle photo shoot, didn't we? I still think if we climb up this afternoon, we're still not going to see anything. No. So that's where we were planning on going later. You can't really see because it's in the fog, but there is actually a, a volcano there. Just travelling down the steepest hill <laughs> in all of Edinburgh, it seems. Really <laughs> Doesn't look that steep on the camera. <laughs> it's, it's almost vertical. Uh -huh. Ooh, nice views though. Yeah. I was saying, oh, what a nice view over there. And then I was like, wait a minute, what's that? What's that falling down the hill? It's a, it's an automatic lawn, by the way. <laughs> Might have to get one of those. Yeah. Okay, so we've arrived at the dome for our afternoon tea. We are half an hour early, which is very much like us. Seems to be a bit of a queue. We're gonna see if we can get in early. That's a better shot. Look, by the time we finish filming and stuff, it'll probably be our time to go in anyway, won't it? Probably. We're inside. Oh. Do you feel like you have to whisper? Yeah. Ascending the stairs. So we came in the chandelier. Lots of mirrors. We sat down. It's very nice. It's it is. It's one of those places that you feel like you have to whisper. <laughs> we don't. People are talking. No, we don't. It's fine. It's nice actually because we thought we were going to be squashed into the corner, but we're by the window, so it's nice and breezy. Yeah. Not breezy, but nice. <laughs> nice air. Nice and breezy. <laughs> so we just had to scan this little QR code. And they brought up the venues and we just chose what we want, our afternoon teas. You did also say that if we wanted to have to see a paper menu, we can also do that as well. Yeah. The QR, QR codes were fine. So. Yeah, yeah. So we've just taken our order of our afternoon teas. And so my pescatarian version and your algae extravaganza. <laughs> um, so yeah, he was very good actually. Was very he double, good. like triple checked as well. So our separate afternoon teas have arrived. <laughs> This is my pescatarian one, so we've got two salmons, um, a cheese, a volavant, two scones, one plain, one fruit, and then a selection of cakes at the top. And then you've got, what's yours? You've got one beef, one ham, one tomato. Tomato, yeah. Um, and you've got your scones, and then two chocolate cakes yeah. and a raspberry passion fruit. So what do you think so far? No, you don't need to whisper. No. It's like no one's around us. Well, except for these guys. <laughs> but out here, there's no one there. Thanks, <laughs> it's
Is that what you think? Yeah, fine. Nice. Um, I was like, this is a cheese and pickle sandwich. It's so underrated. Like, yeah. It's not something that I would normally choose, but when I eat one, I'm just like, that's the best. Mm. I think it's really good. Like I, um, the bread, the bread's really tasty. Like the, it's really nice. Sometimes you can go to an afternoon tea and it'd be a bit dry and feel like it's been sat in the back for a while. It's but this really fresh. Mm, really fresh. was really good. I'm impressed. So we've had our savouries. Very, very nice. Very fresh. Moving on to the scone now, which is my favourite part of an afternoon tea. <laughs> well, we did have a, we did have a, a bottle of with our savouries. Which is like so 80s. <laughs> it, was really, nice. it was really nice. It was really nice, yeah. <laughs> Not developed since like a family do. <laughs> <laughs> 30 years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this reminds me of like a family occasion, like, like an 80s style like, book. <laughs> I'm not complaining, I love it. It was really nice, yeah, it was good. <laughs> so here's our clotted cream and the jam. Little scone. We get two, which is really good as well. Um, so Anthony's got a question. <laughs> I think we asked this in our room. Um, if you watched our Belfast series, we went on afternoon tea there, and I think we might have asked the same question, I can't remember. But do you put the cream on first, or the jam on first? I put cream on first, and then I... the jam on top. Do I do the other way around. Do you? <gasps> I do jam and then cream. Oh no! I think anyway, cream and jam. Yeah. Hmm? I think I do cream, uh, jam then cream. Oh, because you have to put the... No. The cream goes on first because then the jam just sits on top and it looks nicer. Okay. Oh no, I think you're right. Oh no, you put the jam on first and the cream goes on the top yeah. and then the cream is what looks the nicest. I don't know. Because <laughs> the jam does, like, because the jam's got more colour to it. Yeah. It looks nicer on top of the, on top of the cream. Yeah, okay. That's, that's, what I, that's why I've always done it. I, I disagree. Sure it matter, oh, it tastes the same no matter what way you do it. So here's mine with the with the cream first and the jam on top. Look how look how beautiful they look. No, that's not fair. I'm taking a bite out of mine. And then there's um, the other way around. <laughs> look at the state. Let us know. Let us know what you guys think and what you do. I think it's the other way around. Personally. This is correct. <laughs> they say that Gemma's building her second scone the correct way this time. It won't taste any different. It just it looks better. <gasps> so you agree? It looks. Better. I do agree. I do agree with that. Yeah. But full bellies now. Yeah, I didn't even eat it all. I ate all mine. A verdict. Very nice. Very nice. It was very nice. Yeah. Um, if you don't finish it, you can take it away in a box. Um, <laughs> they I bring didn't. you some. Uh, they bring you some blue gloves because yeah. you have to. You have to do it yourself because they can't take away your food and touch it. Yeah. So you have to like. They bring you gloves and your box, and they're just like, there you go. You have to do it yourself. And yeah. Which obviously it's fine. It's just a bit surreal, really. Yeah. So my, my main tip, I think, now would be, because it really doesn't matter, but if your main aim of going to the dome is to actually see the dome, don't book afternoon tea, because you can't see it there. And at the minute, they're not letting people into the cocktail area unless you've got a reservation. Yeah. So... So we went to the dome and didn't see the dome. <laughs> basically, yes. It was good, wasn't it? I, like, I even enjoyed it. The food was amazing. The service was excellent. No allergic reactions anywhere. Let's go back there again. Hmm? I think just for a cocktail next time. Yeah, so we can see a bit more of the building. Cause, yeah. Because it's so like restricted, you can't, you can't really wander around and have no. a look. Normally you can, but at the moment not. So we're going to head back to the car now. Um, which is probably about 20 minute walk, I think. Yeah. Um, and then drive to the car park at the bottom of Arthur's seat and then start our ascent to the top. With full, with full, full. With full bellies. Okay, so take two. We're now in the car park that we were in yesterday. If you watched our vlogs from last week. And we're going to head up that path there because there's a lot of people coming down there so we think that's the way to go. Not there where those people are because it says there's a danger of falling rocks. I don't know why they've decided to we'll go. Both sides. Yeah, to we'll go up there. They're obviously doing it for the gram. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's see how how we fare. So we just started on the path. I'm just quickly turning around just show you where the car park is. Just here. There's a more difficult route. If you go up there, there was a, a much steeper path. Um, we're sticking to the, the regular path, the main path, as it's called. Um, it's 25 past four now, so we'll see how long it takes us to get up. They generally say it's about half an hour-ish, but we're going to take it easy, aren't we? Yeah, I cannot see it being half an hour. 
<laughs> but I, do, I walk pretty slow, so. Yeah. It's coming around the corner and I'm just seeing like, wow, that's <laughs> really, really steep. Guys, if I can get up there in half an hour, <laughs> I'll buy you all a drink. Oh. <laughs> I know for I'm gonna tie it, I'm gonna tie it. <laughs> Come on. So we are taking a slight detour. We have just spotted some ruins. We're trying to look at the map. It says it's St. Anthony's Chapel. So we'll go and see that. My chapel. <laughs> He's rocked high. You okay? You still with us? Yeah. So it is St. Anthony's Chapel. It's a little info. And that's what's left. That's what's left of my chapel. We've done our little photo shoot here now. But we're not even halfway up yet. I don't even know if you can see the city because it's so foggy. The fog looks like it's getting thicker, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. That was clear before, you know. We've got no chance when we get to the top. Come around the back of the chapel. It's <laughs> what a stalker must feel like. <laughs> oh no, she spied me! Go, go, go! <laughs> I think we're about halfway. Look how misty it is. That's where we're heading. Can't even tell where the top is. I think that's the top there. You can see some little shadowy people. So I think that's where we're heading. Which means we carry on up these little stairs here and then around and then straight up there, I think. Okay, so we thought we'd made it. But we thought, oh, it's a bit quiet. Why is there no one here after we saw all those people trekking up the hill? And it's like, oh no, it carries on. You can't even see because it's so foggy, but it carries on all the way up there. Oh, we're nearly there. You can see it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> I was like your anchor, wasn't I? You were. So yeah, we're on top of a volcano. I don't really know how much you can actually see on the camera. Not much, probably. If I come all the way up here and I'm just filming a dog. So right at the top is this little compass. 250.5 meters. Then it has all like the directions of everything. I can see your reflection. Can you? <laughs> I'm proud of us both. Quite cold now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I hope, I hope you can hear us actually because it's windy. The views are beautiful from up here, absolutely stunning. I'm trying to get Gemma to take a picture of me, but people keep getting in the way. She's signalling me. Sugar from the cakes we ate and the afternoon tea. a bit tea. lightheaded. Yeah. <laughs> okay, do you want some? Mm, yeah. Okay. Mm, thank you. Breakfast juice. So, yeah, this was from breakfast that I didn't have. <laughs> um, so it's warm now. I think we're done up here now, aren't we? Yeah. We're just going to head back, try and find an, easy, an easier route. We were told if we go, like, just follow it down towards the back, it should, should be, be an easier easy, yeah. walk down, but we'll see. <laughs> but, um, it was quite hard, wasn't it? Hard walk up? Mm. Well, it's not... Easy for short people, I don't think, because there's a Some lot of Some of the steps fun. are quite high. Yeah. But, I mean, it it was okay. I'm so glad we did it. I was yeah. There was a point back there where I thought, I can't do this. No. Are you sure you don't want to go back and have another picture? I feel like I'm... I'm so, no, no, it's good. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Can you work with it? It's beautiful up here, it really mm. is. It's definitely worth it, you need to do it if you, if you come to yeah. Edinburgh. I think, like, generally it will take no more than half an hour though. So do I, I don't know who recommended 30 yeah. minutes. I mean, I know that we stopped to, to see, like, the chapel and we did, like, do a couple of rest stops as well. Yeah. But even, even still, even if you just walk, walked, like, the whole way, I think it'll be still longer than half an hour. Yeah, so do I. 
Well, I guess it depends how easily you can climb, I suppose. Yeah, I think if you're used to walking like this, then maybe half an hour, yeah. we're not used to climbing. I think walking, fine. Climbing, not so much. Yeah. So I did find the walking was fine. It was the steepness of it that I found tricky. Yeah. So um, The steps are high, but they're also quite sharp yeah. as well. Um, and some of the some of the rocks were quite like could be quite slippery, and yeah. they were slippery even though they were dry. So if it gets a little bit wet, um, it might be quite difficult. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way because I feel like it's not near okay. the edge. I'll okay. tell you what, guys, I I am a little bit afraid of heights, but I love a view. I had a little bit of vertigo going up the hill, <laughs> a little bit, like I was just clicking on <laughs> like Spider Man <laughs> yeah. to the side of the cliff. I'm fine. Cliff. Take the picture. Okay, so now we need to trek back to the car, which will probably be half an hour. Yeah. Just <laughs> <No. laughs> say half an hour for everything now. Um, and then we're gonna. Are we gonna go back to the hotel for a bit? Yeah, I don't know what time it is. Hang on. So it's quarter past six. It's taking us two it's, hours. It's uh, the next day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna go back to the hotel. Just for a bit of a. Well, I'll tell you what, my hair looks like I've been dragged through a literal drag <laughs> volcano. Through a hedge. So, um, <laughs> dragged through a volcano backwards. Yeah. So, we've made the decision, I don't know why, to uh, <laughs> try an alternate route. <laughs> On the way back. <laughs> On the way back. So, we should be actually be going down that path over there. I don't know if you can see it. So, we should actually be going down that path. That's the path that we came up. But we're still all the way up here. I think we should have gone down the other one. Um, well, it all depends on what's on the other side of this hill. No, that's true. Oh gosh. I'm just hoping there's a nice easy path on the other side of this hill. Back at the hotel, you couldn't tell. Yeah, <laughs> We're not taking there. the lift down from half the team. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really good if that was a um, oh, are these are oh, new towels. New towels. Pretty good. Sorry, I'm just packing <laughs> about. Yeah. So we've just booked our table for. Let's turn the light on. Ooh, how blue. So we've just booked the table here because we are very tired. Our legs are hurting. And we didn't really want to have to go back out again. No. <laughs> I, will be, I did want to go back out again, but I feel like the food's good here. We had a nice meal the first night. Um, we've got a drive, we're driving back tomorrow, so it makes sense to kind of stay. Yeah. We've had a nice it's quite day late, in the centre. Really, about it. it's... Well, it's 8 o'clock. Yeah. Half an hour to climb off the seat. I don't think so. Liars. <laughs> No, honestly, you probably could do it and just for longer, not long, not not too much longer after that. But we took our time. Yeah. So uh, I'm really pleased that that we did it. We did it. Did you think you were going to give up at one point? I was never going to give up. It was hard, but totally worth it and, and and completely doable. The views at the top were amazing. Do you know what's really good? The sun came out when we were at the top. Yeah, I did actually. Which was really nice. Yeah. Like so, yeah, I'm really pleased. So our foods are made. <laughs> I've got the same as the other day. Because I'm hungry enough to eat it today. But you saw that it was actually, you get it as one meal rather than two yeah, separate sides. And you don't get as many chicken things, which is great. So, and I haven't got any, you could have got like jalapenos and uh, sour cream, but I just asked for it without this time. And what have you got? Um, I got the spinach and sweet potato curry with papadum and white rice. Oh, actually, I think it's basmati rice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's oh. how we call the lift now, isn't it? <laughs> With our elbows. With our elbows, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> this is it. We're done for the day. <laughs> done for the rest of the week, I think, now. <laughs> so, there we go. Uh making. Me too. Uh, I can't believe how quickly, though, the time in Edinburgh has gone. So I feel like I've done quite a lot today. I hope that you guys have enjoyed coming along with us. I think certainly the climb to Arthur's seat will have been interesting. <laughs> can't wait to edit this. I know, but it'd be really interesting actually to watch it back as well. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying our Edinburgh stuff and I hope that it's kind of inspired you to come and pay a visit here because it is the most incredible place. If you want to follow the rest of our adventures, if you click the subscribe button and if you click the notification bell as well, you'll get a little email into your inbox every time um, one of our videos comes out. So thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. We hope you're all 
okay, keep it safe, and we will see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye.